from what we've heard, things are still horrible, but it's a step in the right direction. So another big, big, should we say big? Maybe small. So six days ago, we got the big update. This was supposed to be the update that was going to hopefully bring a lot of players back to the game that either left it, deleted it, you know, went back to the games that they came, that they came from. For everybody on Android, or should I say, no, I shouldn't ever say everybody. Uh, for a lot of players playing on Android devices, many were saying that the update actually made their game worse than it was before which is bad because the, the before was also bad. But for iOS players, the update seemed to fix, you know, a, a lot of issues. Uh, other than the heating issue, which we'll get into, iOS, it seemed like a lot of the problems were, were ironed out. Fast forward to today, six days later from that update, there's another update. We're going to jump into it. Uh, as we're watching this gameplay, one thing I want to point out to you guys up at the top, right in the middle of the screen, you will see a Celsius meter and you'll also see an FPS counter. So for those of you that are uh, watching from America, where we use Fahrenheit, 48 degrees Celsius is 118 degrees Fahrenheit. And... Uh, this gameplay, there is a cooler strapped onto the back of this. So just think about that, 118 degrees, 48 Celsius is still super, super, super hot. I mean, that is, that's scorching. And that's with a cooler. A lot of people are recording that, that their devices are getting over 50 degrees Celsius. Ouch. So anyway, let's go ahead and talk about the update, everything that they they came to the game. All right, update notes, April 9th. All right, starting off at the top, graphics. Reduced overall memory usage for Android devices to reduce crashes. I know they really, and they should, be pandering to Android devices. The problem here is I, a lot of people playing on iOS devices, specifically phones, yeah, iPhone 15, 14, 13, and below are also suffering. So right away, you're alienating a lot. At least 30% of your player base feels alienated when they see an update only for Android. So just want to throw that out there. Uh, fix an issue causing graphical corruption and missing textures for some devices with Adreno, uh, Adreno GPUs. All right, that's good. They're actually calling out specific processors. Uh, so if you don't know what yours is, make sure you guys go ahead and look it up. This might this this fix might have helped you. Also, fix an issue where the streaming indicator uh, persisted on the main screen and caused graphical corruption on some GPUs. Gameplay, fix an issue that locked weapons and attachments. That's basically kind of like this, we'll just call it the stereo instructions of the update. Now we're gonna talk about the real feel. The gameplay you guys are watching, this is mid graphics set to 60 FPS. Now when the gameplay is just, when the, the, the character's not moving around a lot, when there's not a whole lot happening, the FPS can get up to 35, sometimes 40, uh, 40 FPS. But when there's things going down, right? When shots are being fired, when it's a CQC situation, you will often see that FPS drop quite a bit. Uh, sometimes in the 25 to 30 FPS range. However, a lot of people are reporting, playing on Android, that the game does not feel as clunky. The game feels a little bit lighter, and that's because the FPS, uh, see like right here, in that little uh, CQC situation, you saw the FPS drop to about 28 to 29. So when it's before, this FPS would be about 20, 20 to 25. So there are some improvements. They are taking steps in the right direction. This is where I have to come and I don't want to be, I don't want to be the bear of bad news. I'm trying, I'm trying to make these positive videos the, 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 the best that I can. And of course, there's still the issue of people's uh, heads not showing up. I mean, the graph, I mean, you just, just look at the gameplay. Just look at it. Look at it. The graphics are still blurry. It's like, it's like clay in, in a lot of, uh, <laughs> on a lot of people's devices. It's just, the, the graphics just aren't, there's not a lot of dopamine going on. You know, it's, it's struggling. You know, again, unless you're on a high-end iOS device, like a, a newer uh, iOS device, 
iPad, you know, one of the newer iPads. The graph, they, they need to sharpen up. They need to crispen up these graphics and they need to find a way to reduce the temperature of the devices. People are used to playing Battle Royale games, TDM games on like 60 FPS, right? A lot, of, a lot of iPhones can get, they actually can't get 90 FPS, but a lot of iPhones will max out, they'll cap out at 80. There's a huge difference, you guys, between 30 FPS and 80. So there's still a long, long, long way to go. Having said that, again, trying to, trying to be a little bit more positive with these videos. It is good that we are seeing these little updates drop. What makes me question everything is that the fact that this game was in development back in March of 2022, right? Two years. It seems like these little changes that they're fixing are things that should have been done like within the first hundred days. I mean, the game was not even in beta. The game launched after mine, you guys. And that's what to me, I think that's what's so frustrating for so many people is the game launched. It was live in specific regions for a year or maybe even a little over a year before the big global launch. And that's why you'll see a graph like this. You'll see a graph like this. And that if you, if you can't figure it out, that huge peak right there, that huge spike was March 21st. And everything after that, this is on Google Trends, everything after that completely just flatlined. And that's because so many people have, because it was, again, because it was such a bad launch, so many people just kind of gave up. So if you are one of those people who deleted the game, you know, March 22nd type thing, the, the, the best thing I could say is if you download it, at least try it again. And if you do come back into the comment section, let me know. I read all the comments. Me and Sam are always sifting through the comments. And, uh, I, you know, I'm, I'm curious of someone who like deleted March 22nd. And I'm curious if they've played see uh you know april 9th or april 10th have, you know if there'd be a big difference but from what we're hearing from android devices okay from what we've heard things are still horrible but it's a step in the right direction things do seem to be getting like a little bit better but <laughs> the, the what i compare it to when you think about it is people are happy like any little good change or any like little fix that they make, people are gonna be, you know, they're gonna get their pom-poms out, they're gonna be cheering. Hey, the game's getting fixed. But it's like, they're trying to invent the wheel when we already have, you know, Ferraris driving down the street. These, these again, these games are getting compared to games that have been around for years. They're old games, they're old ass games, but they've been around a long time. And, the, and these other games, these other Battle Royals, I don't need to mention, you guys know which ones I'm talking about. These other Battle Royale games are, are peak, peak optimization. So when you when you play Warzone, you know, the combat's fun, the, the fights are fun, the engagements are fun, but it's the overall experience that just drags and weighs it down. But, I mean, if they've dropped two little updates uh, in the last week, I mean, obviously we can all agree it's better than no updates, but I'm, I'll be the first one to tell you a step in the right direction, but a very long way to go to get this game to be where everybody was hoping uh, it would be at. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one.